three generations of Love Dolls have been in the logging business. I guess it's just the love of the woods. Once you start doing it, you can't get rid of it. It uh, just stays with you. Started in the, in the 30s, my father did. He had 65 men doing what five, six men do today. It's a dramatic change. My grandpa did it, and then my dad did it. It's just kind of nice to keep the family business going. In Minnesota, the predominant species is aspen. It goes to products like paper. It also goes to building products like lumber. It goes into building houses and other home construction here in our state and our country. We use feller bunchers that cut the trees, uh, process the wood with our stroke delimers, bring it up to our landing sites, and then they're set in the piles for our trucks to come and then haul it to the mill. We get the bulk of our work done in the winter because the ground is froze. We can access timber blocks all over. You can get in the swamps. What you can do in two days in the summer takes you one day in the winter time. Every year it gets tougher and tougher to handle that cold. That oil's like glue in there in the morning. It's 30 below, stuff breaks down. Your hydraulics are cold and the iron, it just will get fatigued and break. We grow three times as much wood as we harvest in Minnesota each year. What we harvest, there's plenty more growing to maintain the healthy forest. If we don't sustain our forest and manage them right, we aren't gonna have anything to cut in the future. A lot of our guys have been doing this a long time. Now we're cutting it, who knows, in 40 years maybe, one of our kids may be cutting it. It's a rewarding thing for me, being able to work with my sons. They're good men. They have helped me build this. If it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, my father told me when I took over from him, don't wait too late in life to turn the reins over to your sons. I know it's time for me to step aside. You know, I got five grandsons and a granddaughter, so if we can possibly survive and, and make our business grow and they can become a part of it and grow with it, uh, it'd be wonderful. <laughs>